so today's video is going to be a travel essentials makeup and outfit video and I figured this would be helpful if you have any travel plans in the near future and as you guys know I recently went on a couple airplanes did some traveling myself and so I figured I would just go ahead and share with you all the things that I think are essentials to have on a flight and this totally works for like a road trip or like going on ferry to and this video is actually a collab with my friend Brianna here on YouTube. Her channel is Brianna Renee. I'll have it linked down below. Hi, Miss McKenna G viewers. So I also filmed my airplane slash travel hair, makeup, and outfit plus essentials. So if you want to see my video, click my face. Or I'm sure Michaela will have the link down below, and I will see you there. Stay tuned to the end, and then go watch hers and like subscribe to her channel. Tell her I sent you all that good stuff. But other than that, let's go ahead and get into the essentials. So for my essentials, I usually like to put a little pouch like this in my carry-on with all of these items. Deodorant for obvious reasons. Concealer and powder for touch-ups when you land. Oil absorbing sheets in case you get oily. And I also like to keep Tylenol and Gravel in my bag in case I get like headaches or motion sickness from the airplane or car, really, wherever. Happens a lot. I also have these wristband things that you know basically help with motion sickness. You kind of just like put it on your wrist and a little bead goes on your you know, vein, and I don't know, it helps you feel less nauseous and everything, so keep those in there too. I also like to make sure I have some gum and mints handy so my ears can, you know, pop normally on the airplane. I also like to bring something that will brighten my under eyes for when I land or anything like that, and it's also pretty moisturizing because this is the Vitamin E Eyes Cube from The Body Shop, and it's basically just like a little stick and you kind of run it under your eyes and it gives it a little bit more brightness and shimmer and a little bit of moisturization. I also like to pack a chapstick, this one is by the brand Chapstick, and I also like to take a very little tube, this is a sample from like Sephora this little tube is from there but I basically put my daily moisturizer in here because if I want to apply a little bit more moisturizer if I feel like my skin is getting dehydrated on a flight then I have like a little sample and security is not going to take this away because it's like tiny. I also like to keep some tissues with me handy because in case the person next to me you know has a random nosebleed it's happened to me before. And then I also like to keep my toothbrush and toothpaste because I've lost my luggage before and I didn't have my toothbrush and toothpaste, so that is a must-have for my carry-on, for sure. Moving in more electronic and entertainment things, I like to have my portable charger. This just keeps my phone charged, so if I want to edit Instagram pictures or anything like that, I have that handy. Or if, like, I don't know, it's, it's just handy to have. I also like to keep my planner, which is like my Bible, so I can write down what I'm planning to do, organization, make lists of video ideas and all that kind of stuff, so have to bring that. I also pretty well bring my laptop everywhere I go, so that's a must-have. And of course you gotta have something to listen to music or movies or stuff like that, so I like to bring my headphones. These ones are from Friends. They're rose gold and they're really pretty. And the last thing that I don't always take but is a good idea to have if you are going on a longer flight or it's like a red-eye flight is one of these fun neck pillows. I had it in my closet. I didn't bring it on my last flight, but they're definitely good to have if you plan on sleeping. So those are all of my travel essentials. Now let's go ahead and move in to the easy makeup look that is good for traveling. Starting off with a freshly washed and moisturized face, you want to go ahead and just apply some concealer. I'm skipping out completely on foundation or a BB cream just because if we're being honest here, which we are, I never wear foundation on flights or when I'm traveling usually just because I feel like it's way too heavy and if you just have concealer on, you're able to like apply more moisturizer as the flight goes on if your skin is like feeling super dry and concealer hides all my blemishes and covers my dark circles well enough that I don't really need something super super full coverage and then I just like to set that with a little bit of powder again not too heavy but just something light to remove shine then you just want to apply some blush and this just lightens up your face and gives you a little bit more color and makes you look a little more alive and then go ahead and comb out your eyebrows and apply just a tinted brow gel I think this is the easiest thing to do because you don't really want a you know strong brow game when you're just going on a flight so yeah I just like to apply a little bit of a tinted brow gel to set them in place and give them a little bit of color and then for eyes I'm going in with a Maybelline color tattoo and this is just a like creamy eyeshadow and I'm basically smudging this all over my lid to give my lid a little bit of color had a little bit of the vein and this is totally optional but I really like to add a wing to all of my makeup looks because it really makes my eyes 
a lot like bigger and brighter and you know you'll look a little more put together when you have winged eyeliner on so I like to do that if I'm traveling this is totally like you know, hit or miss. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. And then, of course, after that, I like to apply a mascara. And lastly, I like to use a tinted lip balm to give my lips a little bit of color, but also keep them moisturized while I'm traveling. And that is the completed simple makeup look for your travels. So for my travel outfit, I like to keep it fairly simple just because you want to be comfortable, but I like to wear a sweater and lots of layers, and I also like to wear my bulkiest jacket, so whether that's like a winter jacket or a jean jacket, I like to wear that so it doesn't take up room in my suitcase, and same with the jeans and boots because those kind of take up a lot of space, so it's better just to wear them on the airplane. And for my hair, I always just keep it in a pony because I like to have it out of my way and keep it simple. So that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And definitely go check out Brianna's video. I will have it linked down below like I mentioned. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and I have Snapchat now. Woo! It's M.M. Michaela, or M. Michaela G. I'll have it linked down below. You guys can come follow me and send me snaps. And I, you know, post my stories and everything. It's super, super fun. So definitely add me on Snapchat. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Bye!